Nilikuwa nataka kusimama na haki. Na haki ilikuwa ya kwamba William Ruto ni mtu mzuri na ni kiongozi ambaye anaweza saidia Kenya. Mimi nikasimama hapo na yeye project zetu zote zikasimamishwa. Na mimi nataka kusema asanti mlikuwa afumilivu. Mukasema mnasimama na mimi. I want to thank you for your patience and understanding. And now that I'm deputy president and William Ruto is president, all those projects that were suspended by the previous administration will now be revived and they will be implemented dio wananchi waweze kufurahia. Mimi I don't want to say beyond there. I want to say that Kenya is a country of the rule of law and we have a constitution. Huyu jamaa ya maandamano amezoea to force his way into government through violence. In 1982, he masterminded a military coup against the government of President Daniel Arap Moi. Many Kenyans died and property was destroyed. He wanted to come to power through the back door. It was not possible. In 1997, when he stood for presidency, he was number four. He lost. He brought chaos and violence. And President Daniel Arap Moi brought him to government and made him Minister for Energy. You know what happened? Akakuja kwa serikali ya Moi, akaisabaratisha. In the year 2007, Moi Kibaki, our beloved president, defeated him hands down. He brought chaos. Many Kenyans died. Property was destroyed. And Kibaki brought him into government through Nusumukate. You know what he did to Mwai Kibaki. In the year 2017, again, President, William, uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta defeated him again. He brought chaos. He sowed fear to President Kenyatta. He brought him to government through the handshake. He came and destroyed the entire Jubilee agenda. Made life impossible. Confused our president. And made all projects to stall. 2022, we defeated him. He went to court. The Supreme Court made a decision. Again, now he's back. He has brought violence. He has brought destruction of property to intimidate President William Ruto and I to bring him into government. He is trying to come to government through blackmail. He is trying to blackmail us into talks. I want to confirm to the people of Kenya that the government shall not give in to blackmail. And nobody will come to power through violence. And I want to say for the avoidance of doubt, this issue of the cost of food is not the real issue. Because when Raila Odinga was in government through the handshake arrangement with Uru Kenyatta, Unga was 230 shillings. He did not demonstrate, he did not raise an issue. Unga has now come down to 175 and 180. That is not the real issue. The violence that is being unleashed against the people of Kenya by Raila Odinga is trying to force us to enter into a handshake and bring him to government through the back door. I want to say from Kangocho, here in Nyeri, the land of freedom fighters, that it is not possible for him to come to government through the back door. There is no constitutional provision whatsoever to bring Raida to the government. And I want to say, when he called for these demonstrations, he was aware there are no demonstrations in Kenya that has ever been peaceful. It's about violence and destruction of property. Since he started these demonstrations, no business has taken place in the Nairobi Business District. Property has been destroyed. Juzi ameeda kibra, ame insaitu watu, ame choma muskiti. Ame insaitu watu, ame choma kanisa. Wherever he has been, he has left a tale of destruction of property. I want to assure the people of Kenya that tomorrow, Kenyans should go to work and open their businesses. The government has made elaborate 
and adequate arrangements to protect life and property. The government has a constitutional mandate to protect life and property of the rich and the powerful. Equally, the same government has an obligation to protect the life and property of ordinary Kenyans, property being destroyed under the instigation of the rich and the powerful. The government will protect both the rich and the powerful and also the ordinary Kenyans. And we want to ask those rich and powerful people to know that getting property is a difficult thing. They may demean these small people because their property is nothing to them. But it's a hard-worn sweat. They should respect the property of the ordinary Kenyans. So as you plan your demonstration tomorrow, as you plan to destroy property, know that the government will protect life and property tomorrow in Nairobi and in other towns. And if you check you people of the media, I have seen you carry a lot of narrative on property of the rich, which is also okay because they too require protection and they must be protected. And nobody should destroy anybody's property, whether you are rich or ordinary. But I also want you to take time to tell us the story of the church that was burned in Kibra. Tell us the story of the mosque that was destroyed in Kibra. Tell us about the supermarket whose goods for 20 million were looted. You guys of the press are quiet when the property of ordinary people is being looted and destroyed. But when something for an, one single ordinary rich person is touched, you are all over the place. We are saying you should cover both. Nobody should destroy property, either from the rich or the poor. All property must be protected. But we want to see fairness. Tell the people of Kenya all the story of the supermarket that lost 20 million. Tell that story. Go and interview the people at the mosque and tell the story. Go and interview the people who built that church from scratch to tell you the story. So that you also tell the people of Kenya. Go to Nyamakema, go to Gikomba and interview the people who have lost business because of Raila Odinga and tell the story. Don't be one-sided. Don't be one-sided. Nikimalizia, ningetaka kuambia wa viongozi wa azimio. Wawachana na sisi. Na wachana na viongozi hapa ya mulima Kenya. Nimeona wanataka kuingilia kiongozi wetu kemani ichongwa. Ndiende nyoro. Mimi wamenizoea. Na mimi ya kuna pali wanaeza kunipeleka. Mimi I'm not even there. And if they want to know who we are, waulize uru kenyata. Anatujua vizuri. Anatujua. You know, they tried to fight us when he was president. It was not possible. I don't know how you can fight us when you're out of government. I want to say... Ningetaka kuambia hao watu ya azimio that munatumiwa kupigana na viongozi wa Mount Kenya. The previous administration under Uhuru Kenyatta destroyed all leaders from this region. The outgoing president did not want any single leader to emerge in this region. Kiongozi alikuwa kitoa kichwa wanagonga. Sasa naona wameambia watu ya azimio ati wampiga huyu Kimani Ichongwa. Kimani Ichongwa is a leader in this region who is respected, who has a good brain and focus and who has a future for this region. And vile walishindwa kutupiga saa hiyo Mungu akatusaidia tukakuja juu. Hawa hawa wametuma watu ya azimio to try to destroy the future of our leader. Kemani Ichongwa katika area hii. I want to tell Honorable Kemani Ichongwa to remain steadfast and to remain firm. And Kemani Ichongwa, as a second senior most leader after me in this region, you have a responsibility to unite all the political leadership in this area and defend the economic interests of the people of this region without fear. And I know Kimani Uchungwa and the rest of the leaders here have the capacity
to protect our interest. Na tumuambie hawa wanatumu watu ya zimio. Kupiga vijana wetu. Kupiga kemani chungwa. Kupiga ndidi nyoro. Kupiga wengine. So that they destroy our future. I want to tell them they will not succeed. We have a duty. President William Ruto and I. To prepare young leaders. For the next generation. Lazima tujenge viongozi wetu. Na lazima tuachunge. Hatutaki tupatikane pahali uru kenyata alituacha. Alikoza kusaidia vijana. He refused to mentor any leader in his region. To prepare them for leadership. Saza mimi nimeshika hawa vijana. Kualea vizuri. Kua prepare for the leadership ahead. Wamemulika hawa tu wanataka kumaliza hawa. I would like to tell our young leaders in this region. Bwana Morango. Betty, Munyoro, Kemani Ichungwa, Didi Nyoro, Methu, Patrick Munene, wale vijana wetu wote na wasichana katika region hii, mukae gagari, na musiogope, and you must protect the interest of the people in this region. Lazima tusaijene na nyinyi mambo ya kahawa, na maziwa na majani chai. That is our responsibility. And I'll protect our young leaders because I have a responsibility to prepare these young leaders because of tomorrow. This region will never again find itself in the situation that Uhuru Kenyatta left us without clear leadership structures. So we must mentor these young people. And I want to assure them of my support and that of the president as we prepare them for leadership going ahead. Lord, do that eja ori weka gatia. Nimati gatia na na kaito. Tuwa tigiru ane uhuru. Mudo magari ya kiogo akoya jogo makahura. Agi tu tiga tu hado hacheke. Idwe ne gayura tu abara lidi ya kutiri mudo atu taidiri. Nimati gatia kutume ra doa simi yoko hura imuana shito. Do mera kaira kemanu wa ichongoa. Thoro ne marona ne tu ne ala kurana ne ala doni ano na ne ala tekero. Mara hura de doa nyoro. Negeza matu matu huo rea na kia ito na rushio ruto na tu tingi tekera na nengwe na kuira to goli ito the mani ita ne the muto goli tia isiko gege ya tagati ana kia ito na ire tu arema maro na niyame na ikirushio to goli ya tu mani ita bu koto makoli ya tu mahari ya negeza rure 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 ruto mo zenyonge luti kana kore halato ra koli wana huru wa Kenya ata tu to eji na nere koka nere ko kati gumo kwa dalo ito ne mo kwa dalo hari ya si ana si ito. Torno gina tu hariri si ana isio, na tu si hariri na tu si onie, na tu ikare hakuwe nao, na ni mara hivi wega tu goli ya shaitu, na kuwa wone matiga no nao, raira ni atiga kuiruo, ahole si ana shaitu, ara ahole ruo kudukia pia shara shaitu, pia shara ili shio daira ahole na irofi ni shadwa nyumba hito, mara hivi yaga shia duage matiga rasio makahora shia nyumba hito, na ni kiotro wugatu tige tekera, na kuwa kuwa kuenda kuira duo hito. Na Kenya kwa jumula. Rushio ruru ni tupagete wega. Eee. Muku ungire ako lileo. Eee. Muku ungire ako lileo. Eee. Ukire mudu ina mwana mkogo. Uliye nake hithi dhakune ngira shiwe ya mwenye itire. Ni mati gane na indo siyandu. Ono koto hitho tuito neto nini. Neto heo gete. Neto heo gete yo. Turati kilo nethiri kari yoro tutari kedo. Ito shito shio za igedhira. Ile ige magesina nya makema. Ile ige magesina kule akare ifangi. Makema mwana nyoba shiadu. Kanya mukara kani ni moge kwe alati giru wanako. Niko mara ato mara hila. Maka muhebesho kia dhokie. Kare ya kani ni tuwa tige iluo. Nengwe na kumera matige. Na tumere tuhea na iteo. Na kedo kia mudo wako one kenini. Nige yake. Nige heo geteo. Ono wako one kenini. Ono wako wadu wano mumaire haya muge matire mari itua. Ithe yao matiyo ikaine na anjina matiyo ikaine. Nesi ubesi ya gai. Na gai ya mobili ya uwa mahiyana. Na mudhenyomo ni akama one kane onao magia na ido. Ona ono mede kwa gana ido taisho shianyo. Kwa gwele ke tuge. Ado ni matike kudhukia ido shiene. Na raira ni atike kuhudhiru. Kudhukia ido shiandu wa nyoba ito. Raira ni atu the nitime ya kame inge muno. Aga turagi radu. Aga dhukia ido. Aga shina. Le unetura amu hotile. Le uningi ni alo kelirio. Ningiani na ido siyado itu. Na watu tiko mwete kelia. 
Nangwena komu ira haumu.